What about someone that has the accusal, is being accused of being a Mahdi Arabim, causing people to go to Christianity, causing people to go against the Shem. They're accusing you of this. After you brought to the Bedin, Sanhedrin, they kill you. So what does the Sanhedrin do with him if he has nothing to do to, to defend himself? Gemara, Masechet Sanhedrin, page 29a, says the following. The court does not plead on behalf of someone that causes people to sin, even if it's a capital case. Meaning, you don't have something to defend yourself, we're just going to kill you. Yeah, but the murder, the guy that's being accused of murder, you helped him hopefully to try to get him out of it. But me, I'm just being accused of idolatry and, and I'm being accused of getting people to go to idolatry and that's it you're not even asking you're not trying to get me out no what you're much worse than the murder doesn't that sound evil only if you think God's evil where do we get this from Hashem himself the Gemara says we learn this from HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself Amar Rabbi Chama Bar Chanina Rabbi Chama Bar Chanina says the instigator, the guy that causes people to sin, the Nasit, is different than the potential murderer. Why? We learn this from the merciful one. We learn this from HaKadosh Baruch himself. Where he writes in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 9. Have no mercy, nor shall you protect him. On this person, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, if a person causes people to sin, you are forbidden from having mercy on him. On the murderer, you're allowed to have mercy. But on a person that causes people to sin, no mercy, not allowed to have mercy. HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself writes, Sefer Dvarim, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 9. If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son, or your daughter, or your friend, who is like your own soul, will entice you secretly, saying, let us go and worship the gods of others. That you did not know, you or your forefathers, from the gods of the people that are all around you, those near to you, or those far to you, from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. You shall not accede to him, and not hearken to him, your eyes shall not take pity on him. You shall not be compassionate nor conceal him. Rather, you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be the first against him to kill him. And the hand of the entire people afterwards. You shall pelt him with stones until he dies. For he sought to make you stray from near Hashem your God, who took you out of Egypt from the house of slavery. Bereta from Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar, and he says the following: Oy lanu miyom adin, oy lanu miyom atochecha. Woe to us from the day of judgment! Woe to us from the day of punishment! This is a rebuke of Hakadosh Baruch Hu when we go up to Shemaim, and He Himself will come to you, and He Himself will tell you. Why'd you do it? Why'd you go against me? As it's written in the book of Psalms, Psalm 50, verse 21. These have you done, and I kept silent. You thought that I was like you. What does it mean you thought I was like you? You thought just because I'm not punishing you, I agree that you're violating Shabbat. Just because I'm not punishing you, I agree with your actions. You thought I was just like you, I was a sinner like you. But I will now punish you and lay clearly before your eyes. Meaning I'll show you every single sin right before I punish you. And then the next verse, Rabotai says this. Understand this now. You who have forgotten God, lest I tear you into pieces. And there be none of you to rescue. This is Tehilim, Rabotai. 
This is not some midrash. This is not mystical. This is literal. If you haven't read it, Baruch Hashem, it's time you have. Hashem Himself is telling us. He's telling us it's not a joke. He's telling us it's not a game. He's telling us you sinned and you thought that it was okay because I didn't punish you. You drove on Shabbat, you went to this, you did this, you did this, and you thought it was okay. It's not okay. Your success, Rabotai Akrim, has nothing to do with your skills. Your failure doesn't either. The success, the destination, that's only determined by the Creator Himself. You are responsible for the effort. Use those tools that Hashem gave you in order to serve Him to the best you possibly can according to his instructions and not yours. If you do that, I promise you that the destination will be much better than you can get yourself on. Be'ezat Hashem, this will get us even closer to the right ideology, to the right destination, to get us, our people, our friends, our family, and all of Klal Yisrael and the rest of the world that wants to know God to the right destination that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has designated for each and every single one of us. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen ve'amen.